Uh, I think JR said it that uh, he's uh, upper body injury and uh, timeline is uh, undetermined at this time. Klein, I think, uh, declared himself ready to go. <laughs> he just hasn't <laughs> talked to me about it yet, but uh, so I figure, figure he should be good. What is rest? Or what did the last two days off do for you? And for your, what do you think it did for for the group? Well, I think for a group, uh, this should be very beneficial. Um, we, um, you know, we really had a challenging. Uh, schedule towards the end we played 13 games in 22 days and uh, a lot of it was against you know teams that were competing real hard to try and get into the playoffs and battle for position so uh, uh, we had a little break before we've got this I think this is going to be very beneficial for us both mentally and physically we've got a couple little bumps and bruises uh, that we're uh, on the process of uh, healing right now and uh, when they announce when we start, we'll be ready. Does your preparation change a lot based on who you play? I, sorry. Does your preparation change a lot based on who you play? All the preparation is going to be the same as what we did prior to the Pittsburgh series. I mean, we had to wait till the last day to figure out we were going to play Pittsburgh. We're going to have to wait until tonight to find out if we're playing Washington or the Islanders. And we're going to go through our normal preparation that we do, uh, do prior to every series. I'm sorry, James. Do you have some preliminary thoughts on how to recheck the lines with Luke's Uh I'm uh, in the process of uh, thinking about that. Uh, and if I was a betting man, <laughs> I would probably say that Marty's going to move up with uh, Nasher and uh, Brass. And yes, then just yes, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, definitely at some point here in the next couple of days going to call somebody up so that we have an extra forward. We don't have an extra forward at this time. Um, but um, we'll, we'll do that and uh, we'll have 12 forwards and uh, 8 Ds to practice here in the next couple of days. Is that regardless of whether Hartford gets past game four tomorrow? Uh, yeah, one way or the other. You need a, at least one spare at, at both positions so somebody gets sick during the days. So you can't risk that. Would you wait until after Tuesday? They're going to play tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Play tomorrow yeah, yeah, we're going to let them play that game. Okay. Is, is Yandel still sick, or is he dealing with one of the bumps in the He's got some sort of an overall soreness that we're trying to manage. But he'll be fine. So will Summers go back? Somebody will. Summers? No, Summers is, we've used him up on a call-up. He's going to stay with us. Ready to go. I know. I know. I heard it. <laughs> Assume he's ready to go too. <laughs> no, that's what he's told everybody. So at some point he was going to be ready. And he said he could have played game six. He said he could have played game six. There was, there was. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't tell. <laughs> didn't tell me that. <laughs> well, how, how did he look? I mean, how? I just saw him like you guys did there, 23 minutes today, and he looked fine. He's looked good practices that I saw before, but he was, there was always uh, some pain when he left the ice, and today he must have told I haven't talked to him, but he's definitely talked to JR, and he's talked to you that he's good to go. Same, same deal, I mean, he'll, as soon as he tells you he's good to go, he's in, right? But assuming the end goal is fine for game one or whatever that is, is it a clear-cut decision in your mind if Kevin's playing, he comes out. Uh, I, I, again, as you know, at, the, at this time of the year, we don't really get into specifics. Well, I'm not on, asking on, names, and, and, I'm and, just saying, are you pretty clear? Sure that Kevin's coming? Uh, Kevin, if, if Keith plays and Klein's in for game one, someone has to come. To come out, out yeah. We'll, are, are we'll you, figure that We'll figure that then. We'll let you know then. Because Klein's a writing that certain helps you in certain situations. I always prefer the righty lefty. It's sort of easier for both breakouts and non transition in the neutral zone. So if we can get our three right handed shots back, that would be positive. I'm sure you've had to deal with this in the past with having a few days off in the playoffs. How does, how does the, how do you deal with that? Uh, for us, it's great. The, the, the rest part and the, the healing comes at the right time. Uh, and, you know, talk to Reg. Uh, 
about making sure that our conditioning stays sharp. sharp. That's been taken care of, and we're going to do what we need to do on the ice uh, to get ready for the opposition. Do you, do you think Hagelin raises his offensive game? He scored some goals, but overall, in terms of chances and whatnot, when he's in the playoffs, going back to last mm -hmm. year, this year, do you see his offensive game rise a little bit? Uh, he's certainly scoring goals at you know critical times, and uh, he's get, he's getting some real good looks. Um, whatever he's doing right now, he needs to continue. I mean, you know, to have success and the games are so tight, you need contribution from all parts of your lineup, not just, you know, Brass's line and Steps line. It's got to come from our back end. It's got to come from our third and fourth line. And when Hags does that, like he did the last two games, that's real huge for us. After every Rangers playoff game, tune to MSG Network for highlights and analysis from the team that knows your team best. The Mercedes-Benz Rangers post-game show. After every Rangers playoff game, only on MSG Network.